Welcome back in on this Thursday. It is that time of the day. Of course, it's your Thursday. Our Imagination Station segment is in and our good friend Kristen Johnson is here from the Imagination Station. I've been told it's time to roll up the sleeves <laughs> for an explosive experiment. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about combustion and you need three things to have combustion. You okay, need oxygen, me. oxygen, flame, flame and fuel. Okay. Yes, so I have this balloon right here that is pure oxygen and we're going to pop that. Okay. But before we do so, we need to make sure it's safe. Let's put on our safety goggles. Okay. We'll grab the ones right over here. As you instructed. Yes. Done. All right. So, Chris, can you just hold this balloon for me? And I just have candles right here that I'm going to ignite and we're just going to pop this pure oxygen balloon. Okay. So, how about a countdown from three with me, Chris? So, three. Three. Two. Two. And one. one. So, nothing exciting, right? I wasn't all that impressed. Yes. I usually am. <laughs> well, oxygen is one of our three components that we need for combustion, but it's not a flammable gas, okay? okay? So, I do have a flammable gas right here, which is hydrogen, okay? All right. And we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to see what happens to this balloon right here, okay? So, I'm hoping for bigger and better results. Well, let's see. <laughs> Another countdown from three with me, Chris. Three, two, two one. and one. Whoa. <laughs> All right. So I'm yes. impressed. <laughs> hydrogen is the a difference between gas. hydrogen and oxygen. Yes. Hydrogen okay. is highly combustible. Oxygen is not. But oxygen, again, is one of three things that we need. Okay. Now, let's say we take hydrogen and oxygen gas and combine it together. Okay. okay? So you're going to see how that happens. Okay. All right. Now I have this balloon right here. And we can just simply pop this balloon. But we're not going to do that, okay? Oh, we have to have fun <laughs> popping the balloon. Of course. Because what I'm going to actually do is release this gas inside of this soapy water solution, and then you're going to pick up the bubbles that I've created, and we're going to ignite them in your hands. Yes. All right. Your bare hands. My bare hands. All right. Let's see what we got. So, so that's just a soap and water mixture, this correct? This is a soap and water mixture. Okay. You're absolutely right. But before we get started, it's going to sound like a gunshot, so we need to cover our ears. Yes. <laughs> I like where this is going. All right, you can still hear me, Chris? What? <laughs> Ready to go. All right, so just now we're going to put your hands inside of here and just pretend like you're washing your hands past your wrist. Perfect. <laughs> okay. All right, so you're going to take your hands out. And I'm just going to release this gas right inside of this container right here. All right, now. Inside of this balloon, again, it's hydrogen and oxygen gas, but I use two part hydrogen and one part oxygen, so it sounds like water. All right, I'm just going to mix the bubbles. Should we get the air muffs out at home, too? It, yes, you can. <laughs> if not, You've definitely plug your ears. <laughs> All right, Chris, you have to pick up as many bubbles as you can, okay? Scoop up a lot in your hands. Perfect, and take like two steps to the right for me. Why, so I'm away from you? Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead and hold your hands out nice and flat. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to remove the bubbles from around your hands. Again, hold your hands out flat. There you go. All right, so you're going to be over there by yourself. I'm over here. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. I feel really safe right now. Yes, I'm in the safe zone right here. <laughs> Everyone in the studio is plugging their ears at this point. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pop these bubbles in your hand on the count of five, okay? So one, two, three, four, and five. Whoa! <laughs> but your hands are okay, right? I'm fine. They're still there. <laughs> Here's a towel for you. Guys. I may need a new pair of underwear, but I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yes. <laughs> So, it's a big difference when we combine hydrogen and oxygen gas because it's in a pure, rich oxygen environment, so it's a louder explosion. What'd you say? <laughs> Are you okay there, Chris? I did. I felt the heat, though. Blow. That was, a, that was quite the explosion. Yes. Cool stuff. Yes. 
What do you guys have going on at the Imagination Station? As I feel like I'm shouting right now. <laughs> Am I talking too loud? You guys have a lot of stuff going on at Imagination Station before the kids head back to school, huh? Yes, it's starting next Tuesday, the 21st. We have Navy Week. Okay. It's a citywide event. Uh, you can find more information about Navy Week on our website, of course, at imaginationstationtoledo.org. All right, Chris, we always yes. love when you come into, come into the studio. We always have fun with you guys exploding things, and I didn't even get shot with the fire extinguisher today. That's always a good day. <laughs> All right, coming up next on W211, you are dead.